Okay, let's let's finish off this example. We were saying in the last video that we found the f we have a resultant force of the bolts this way. We have the force of the pressure distribution inside the nozzle this way. And it doesn't look like there's any more forces. And we said that the forces are equal to the momentum of the system. But but if we well think about it this way momentum is mass times uh, volume mass times volume and both the nozzle and the body body of water do have a mass okay and the water is moving so the body that's contained inside the control volume has a velocity but is the nozzle moving well no it, it's being held by the bolts it's it's not moving and if we said momentum is equal to mass times velocity well if the velocity of the nozzle is zero then that means the nozzle doesn't have any momentum it's not moving so we can just say well it's equal to just the body just the momentum of the body that's contained inside the control volume And that's equal to the, the sum of all the linear momentum flow rate coming out, right? So this stuff coming out minus all the linear momentum flow rate coming in, okay? And we said up here, or somewhere, that the linear momentum is going to be equal to rho QV, right? Or right and so we can just plug that into our momentum equation our, our sum of all the forces and and notice here that the momentum is a vector because of this velocity here so if, the, if we said okay let's just take a simple regular Cartesian coordinate system there's y there's x that's positive we can say the sum of all the forces in this case there's only two we have FP, and, and you, you know, it's going this way, and then you also have the force of the bolt, but it's going the other way, so it's minus, I'll just call it B, so P, B, uh, peanut butter, um, and that's going to be equal to rho Q V out, right, this, minus rho Q V in. And FP here, we found to be 5, so 5 pi, 5 pi pounds, minus the force of the bolts. This is what we're trying to find, is going to be equal to rho Q. Okay, well, we said the, the density is constant, right? It's just water, and then the flow rate mass, or I'm, I'm sorry, the volumetric flow rate is also constant. So we can pull these two out of the equation and say it's going to be rho Q times V out minus V in. And both of them are vectors. Okay? Okay, so we have this. We're trying to find this. We have density of water. But do we know Q? Do we know V? Do we know... Well, do we know any of this? No, we don't. Okay, well, let me flip my notes. And hopefully, my notes will help us. Okay. Now, let me move this up a bit. Move the camera up a bit. Let's say. Let's say. Let's let's write this equation. This equation. Let's rewrite. Five pi minus F B is equal to uh, rho Q B. Let's call it two. Right, because this is point two, this is out minus in v two minus v one. Okay, and we can use the continuity equation. We can say that q is going to be equal to q one, which is going to be equal to q two. Right, the volumetric flow rate in this entire nozzle is the same. Right, it's a continuity equation. So we can say 
V1A1 is equal to V2A2. And if we found the area of 1, which is pi over 4 times 2 inch squared, and then the area of 2, which is pi over 4 times 1 inch squared. And if we plug those areas back into here, and solve for V1, you can do the math uh, yourself, V1 is going to be equal to 1 over 4 times V2. So we know that the velocity at 1 is going to be 1 quarter of the velocity of that at, that at 2. Right? Okay, well, we still don't know V1 and V2. But, oh, we can use Bernoulli's equation, right? We can set up a streamline from 1 to 2 and figure out what those velocities are. So let's do that. I'll keep that uh, just up there. Use a different color. So we can say if we neglect all viscous effects and use the Bernoulli equation, we can say the energy head, oops, the energy head at 1 is equal to the energy head at 2, right? So V1 squared over 2G plus pressure at 1 over gamma plus uh, the height at 1 is equal to the velocity at 2 over 2G plus the pressure at 2 over gamma plus the height at 2. And the heights cancel out, right? Because 1 and 2 are at the same elevation. And the pressure at 2 is 0 because it was a free jet. Remember, it was, it was open to the atmosphere. It's a free jet. Free jet's pressures are, are 0. Okay, so what we're... If, if we bring... Uh, if we rearrange this entire equation, we'll get V2 squared. This is just algebra, so don't worry. 2G is equal to P1 over gamma. And gamma, you know, is rho g. So we can say that's gamma, right? And if we plug in v1, which up here we got v1 is equal to one quarter that of v2, we can say v2 squared minus one quarter of v2 squared, squared, or v2, uh, over 2 is equal to... Uh, the pressure at 1 over rho. Uh, and you're saying, oh, Sammy, where did the gravities go? Well, the gravities cancel out here, right? So that's why we just have 2 in rho. And we know, we know pressure at 1. So pressure at 1 is 5 psi. And if we convert that to uh, pounds per foot cube, I mean pound per foot squared, we get 720 pound per foot squared. And we know rho of water is usually 1.94 slugs per foot cubed. Right? And so, let's plug that in. Let's plug that in. Let's say V2 squared minus um, 1 16th V2 squared over 2 is equal to P1, which is 720 over 1.94. And now we, we have one equation, one unknown. We, we get V2 is equal to 28.14 feet per second. Okay, that's V2. And let's plug that into... Plug that into... Oops. Let's plug that into... Uh, Q, 2, right? Or anywhere. And Q2 was V2A2. And V2 we found to be 28.14 times the area of 2, which is pi over 4, times 1 over 12. Right, I just converted 1 inch to foot squared. And Q is equal to 1, or 0 0.15, Three, four, seven foot cubed per second. Okay, and I know I said we will finish this in the next. Alright.
you know what, let's finish it right now. Well, we did say Q is equal to Q1 is equal to Q2, right? So, this is our Q, right? It's our Q2, it's our Q1, it's our Q. And remember in our original equation, let me just rewrite that. We, we, we had our original equation as 5 pi minus force of the bolts uh, is equal to rho q times v2 minus v1. Alright? And, and remember these, these are going to be all vectors. And, but you know in this case the velocities are all going in one direction, right? So they could be vectors, they could not be. They're all going in the positive x direction. And if we plug in what we know, rho is 1.94, q we found to be 0.15347 times v2, which is 28.14 minus, oops, that should be, there should not be a parenthesis there. So it's 28.14 minus 1 quarter of 28.14. Right? This is V2. This is V1. Oops. And we solve for F of B. And that's equal to 9.44 pounds. Okay? And that's, that's the force of the bolts required to keep the nozzle in place.